from a grateful heart. We are heaven. We offer one praise from a grateful heart. Oh God, oh my God, because you're good and your goodness. Oh God, oh my God, has endured your goodness. Your mercy has been long suffering. We bless you that you've given us another opportunity. God, to come before you, to humble ourselves before you, God. We bless you. We thank you, God.
shouldn't even feel that beat in him anymore. He knew what his hope was. And sometimes we need to remember there's a place that a whole shy Shut up, you can't even have a You can't even have a 
to share with you. I want to give you those things. Hallelujah. If you're in worship, go ahead and keep worshiping. Because that's what we came here to do. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of Jesus. We are on the move. We are going somewhere. Rainbow Word Ministries. Hallelujah. is going somewhere. We're in this new place, this new building. And we have some things that we have endeavored to do to make sure that this transition is as smooth as possible. And that takes money, y'all. Hallelujah. That takes finances. And so we've made some pledges. And we want you to make sure that you make good on those pledges. The last day to um, fulfill that pledge is August 28th. And you're going to learn in just a few minutes why that date is significant. I'll let you know in just a second. I want to let you know about what's happening this week first, though. So tomorrow, all leaders, we're asking that you be here. We want to see you here to uh, join for the leadership meeting. We're going to hear vision and directions from our apostle. Hallelujah. And can we just celebrate our apostle right now? We honor and love him so much. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of Jesus. Glory to the name of Jesus. We thank God for him. We thank God for our pastors. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pastor Brown, Pastor Robinson, Pastor Crumpton. Glory to the name of Jesus. I said we honor our pastors. Hallelujah. We love them so much. Glory to the name of Jesus. So we'll be together, all leadership. We want you to come tomorrow evening at this Lake Elsinore campus at 7 p.m. to join us for the leadership meeting. Uh, on Tuesday and Thursdays, we will be in prayer in the morning at 6 a.m. on the conference line. And then on, normally we come into prayer on Tuesday evenings at 6.30. This Tuesday, we will not be in prayer because we will be having our prophetic class. Yeah. Amen. We're resuming our prophetic classes. And that will be um, Tuesday, August 9th at 6.30 p.m. And whenever we have our prophetic classes, we do not have Bible study. So that means for Bible, uh, this week on Wednesday, we will not be having Bible study. And so make sure if you are a part of the prophetic class, um, you can feel free to join us. It will be available on Zoom as well. And you can also invite people to come to those who, you know, you may have friends that say, you know, God is called, I feel like God is calling me to prophetic, but they don't know much about it. Or they may think they know a lot about it, but they need to learn sound doctrine. So we want to uh, invite them to come to the prophetic class. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's true. Um, so no Bible study this Wednesday. And then on Friday, August 12th, our, our apostle has a ministry assignment at Fishers of Men. It's their pastoral service. And so we are going to be joining them on this coming Friday, August 12th at 730 and so please, um, uh, again, our apostle will be speaking so we know what to do to be in place for that, to support. And then following that, the following weekend, we will be joining apostle on Sunday afternoon at the True Way Church in Los Angeles. <laughs> Praise God. It's their anniversary service. And so on the 21st of August, uh, we're all going to join apostle in L.A. and we will not be having San Diego service. So San Diego service on just the 21st will be canceled for that particular day. Um, and then we will be having, on after the 21st, starting the 22nd, all the way through that Friday, Monday through Friday, we'll be having our prayer conference. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to the name of Jesus. We will be having our prayer conference. And on that, um, during that week, it's going to be one conference, two locations. So that means that Monday and Tuesday, we will be in this place. And then on Wednesday through Friday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we will be in the San Diego location, joining, uh, joining together there to finish out the conference. We're gonna have some dynamic, amazing speakers, some amazing teachers. I'm so excited. So please come all to all services if you can. And um, all the information about that is already in Church Center if you have questions. We are coming up on, um, on August 27th, that's Saturday. So that week will be full, but we can we can make it through it. Saturday, the 27th, we are going to be having a Rama Churchwide parking lot sale. You guys know y'all got those big.
big trash bags of clothes and shoes or whatever you want to get rid of or maybe you have some old furniture whatever it is that you have that you want to sell it's always good to get together and have those sales because you have access to everybody who's coming around and building traffic so we're going to have it right here in the parking lot so everybody can come we, there's a lot of traffic along the road so we'll have signs available to you now this sale is an effort to raise money for the appreciation so individually or by auxiliary say your auxiliary wants to come together you all want to get your stuff together and sell that you can do that as well we're going to have it's a space rental fee of twenty dollars and that's not much and then um, there will be a 10% your a kickback a 10% kickback so that you can support the anniversary so 10% of yourselves and that's not much either so we want to bless these uh, we want to bless our church y'all and we're finding creative ways to do that and so if you can keep 80% and bless the church with 20 why not why not and so we want you to do that you can see evangelist Smith for details concerning that and it's again Saturday the 27th from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. and you can get any questions answered um, with evangelist Smith and then, as I mentioned earlier, I was going to tell you what's happening on the 28th. On the 28th, we are having our official grand opening service. <laughs> Praise God. Our chief apostle will be coming to speak on that day. We're excited about what God is going to do. It's at 7 p.m. right here in the house. On that day as well, we will not be having San Diego service. We'll have our morning service here, and then we'll take a break, refresh ourselves, and we'll come right back to the house of God on, at 7 p.m., and we are going to be prepared. So that's why that's the last day to bring your pledge money so that you, we can close everything out and have everything we need to go forward. Amen? Yeah. Last thing I want to let you know, we are accepting volunteers for Rainbow Elite Academy. Yeah. Hallelujah. You can see Elder Manna to get any questions answered that you have. We just need you to be great with children, and we need you to pass a background check. That's all we need. Hallelujah. That's all we need. So if you are interested in doing that, please see her. If you are interested in being a tutor, you may be good with really great with math. I'm really good at English and history, not math so much. But if you're good at that, you can say, hey, I want a tutor. I, I can teach something. You may not have all day, but you can have given an hour to help a child um, in need. Amen? So if you're good at any of those things, um, you can see Elder Manna, and she will be happy to give you information. Those are your announcements. You will see these announcements in Church Center as well, so you can feel free to look for that tomorrow. We are now going to have an anniversary announcement following that. We are going to be in the hands of Pastor Brown with your offering. Good morning, good morning. Can I have my grateful people in the house? Come on, come on, come on now, come on, come on. We are under a leader who, who sacrifices as much as you don't know. So if you, if you think you know, you have no idea. He's honorable, he is a worthy man of God, and I, I just... I'm very grateful. Uh, we're just here to let you know, just to remind you that it is a pledge of $400 per person and for uh, $12.50 for each auxiliary. Um, I wasn't able to make it last night, but I heard it was an amazing, yeah. amazing pledge today. So I, just, I want to give, give thanks to everybody who came and everybody who supported. I do want to shout out all the leaders and everybody who participated in it. I heard the cast was amazing. I heard the leaders, the directors, they did their thing. So I just thank y'all so much for supporting. And, Amen. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We glorify you on today, God. Hallelujah. You're worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. <laughs> you <a> mess. <laughs> Amen. It's offering time, saints. Yes. yes. There's a song by William McDowell, and he says, I got seed in the ground. He said, I'm expecting a harvest now. Amen. And I get excited about that song because I got seed in the ground. Yes. And I'm expecting a harvest now. Amen. Right now. Amen. And not just seed of money. But seed of prayers and seed of, of obedience and, and, and seed of uh, a yes, Lord seed. Amen. I got it down in the ground. Amen, Elder Manna. 
I got it in the ground, it's planted, and I'm expecting God to do it. But you know, at this time, God, he says that if we give, that he would give back to us. He said that he, he gave us some promises, amen, that if we give unto his house, unto him, amen, unto the work of the Lord, he said he promised us. Hallelujah, that he would bring it back to us and that he would give it to us and it would overflow, amen? That every need of our house will be met, amen? If we give unto the house of the Lord, God said, I'll bless your house. I remember times when I didn't have much to give, amen? But I, needed, I had to pay some bills, amen? I needed some bills was due, amen? But God said, if you take care of my house, I'll take care of your house. And I promise you, he's been good to that. He's been true to his word, for his word is true, amen, and we can depend on it, amen. So at this time, we're asking that you stand. Prepare your hearts to give, to be a blessing unto the house of the Lord, to be a blessing unto God, amen, because when we give, we give to him, hallelujah, and we give, we give, we give with, a, with a cheerful heart, amen, not begrud begrudgingly, but we give excited about what God is going to do, amen in the work, amen. So everyone please stand, and the ushers have um, envelopes if you need it, just raise your hand, and they, they will lead you out, amen. God bless you. If you haven't, give $50, amen. Let's be a real blessing to this ministry. and depend on your word, God, that you will bless us, God. You will bless our house and you will bless this house. And we thank you for it, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, God. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So hallelujah. Let's just give God a praise because he's worthy. Hallelujah. He's worthy. Hallelujah. The Lord God is worthy. Hallelujah. We bless your name on today, God. We praise your name. school and I'm always talking about 
transitioning. The kids don't want to stop playing with the blocks. And it's time to go do something else. Amen? So I try to get them to transition well. Amen, man? I don't want to, you know, all that stuff. We don't want them doing that. We want them to be able to stop what they're doing and move on to the next. Amen? Hallelujah. So I don't want us to get all complacent and all comfortable in our seats. Amen? My God is worthy to be praised. Amen? Oftentimes, Dr. Hawkins, we talk about giving God the glory. The way we give God glory is we give him credit. That means everything that happened to you that was good, God did it. And you begin to clap your hands and tell God, thank you. You ain't looking good today because of you. It's because of the Lord's mercy. <laughs> that we are not consumed because his compassion fails not. But they are new every morning. Clap your hands and say, wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 Oh, I find no fault in it. Hey, 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 hey. He's a man who shot He's a man who shot My God, he's a man who Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord, I feel old church in here today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. See, that's how we had church when we grew up. We didn't have a praise team. We just had a thank 
You can be seated in the house of the Lord. But on your way down to your seat, just look at your neighbor and say, regardless of how I look, tell him God been good to me. That was the wrong neighbor. Look at another neighbor and say, regardless of how I look right now, tell him God has been good to me. If that neighbor can get it, put a gun in your throat and say, I'm going to do something right now. But tell your neighbor, God has been real good. Oh, shot, ha, ha. He's been real good. He's been better to be longer than I've been to myself. Oh, my shot, If I had 10,000 tongues, I couldn't tell him thank you enough. Oh, God. He's been good. What about them? Every now and then, sometimes, some, sometimes we get we get weary in serving God because we forget to remind ourselves how good God is at Mosa has been to us. If I had time, I would have you look in your phone and go back to a picture from a year ago and then look at yourself right now. And you will look at that picture and say, he's been real. Some of y'all didn't forget. Now shout out the whole time. You didn't almost lose it. You lost your mind. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Some of y'all forgot when you had a disease that you couldn't get cured of. Some of y'all didn't forget when you was homeless. But look at one more person and say he's been real, real. Oh, yeah, 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 Now clap your hands and tell that man thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lord. Y'all can be seated. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Shout out to the answer. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I think y'all like that. One more time for yourself. Say, he's been real good. Now say to me. Oh, I can't speak that to my, my, my. To me. To me. Yes, sir. Oh, my shot to the higher. Have your hands shut. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. Real good, God. Higher. Real, real good, Elder Newman. Real. Yes, sir. Real good, Dr. Hawkins. Real good. God bless you. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Lord. Y'all can be seated, but 
It's it's what I want to talk about today. Nah, we ain't going there. Amen. We we didn't we didn't already shout it and Shabbat. Amen. Praise the Lord. Y'all can be seated. Truly, God is good. Oh, we all right. I ain't worried about nothing. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Truly, God is good. Good to see everybody in the house of the Lord. You may be seated. Grace and peace. You know why I'm doing that and some of y'all are disobedient and y'all not opening up y'all mouth? Because everybody in here is a preacher. And what your problem has been is, the preacher in you has been wanting to come out. You think you're getting ready to give up, but there's a preacher down on the inside of your belly. Now open up your mouth and let that preacher out and say he's been free. This is taking me back. This is taking me back to um, 3819 Jackson Avenue, apartment number three. That was my first apartment when I had a job, and I had enough money just to pay rent. I didn't have enough money to get food. Set that mobile host at my. So I was on a force fast. And what I would do in that house with no food, I would preach to myself, and watch God make ways out of no way. Tell your neighbor, when you feel like you ain't got enough, you got enough, there's something in your belly. If you would open up your mouth and speak into the atmosphere. Hold on, shut up. You know how you make God want to bless you? Tell him he didn't did what he ain't did yet. He made a way. Did he have to do it? He healed my body. Did he have to do it? Y'all can be seated, but I feel that in my belly, and I was just going to enjoy myself today. But he's been real. One more neighbor, tell him he's been real good. Yes, Lord. Tell him he's been real good. 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 Tell him that my mind's so tell him he's been real good. 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 And I look at the neighbor and say, he's been so good to me. Uh-huh, that's an answer. Look at one more day and say, he's been so good to me. Cause he's been I told you, shut that down. 
Jesus, he's been on the most high. So good, I wish I had a voice today, but he's been so good. Have your hands stretched right there to me. Amen. Praise the Lord. Very, very, very quickly because we still have to take communion. Amen. Very, very quickly. Amen. We got, amen. Amen. For some of us, we got two more services. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Grace and peace be multiplied to all the saints at time. I, the saints of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. My baby hit me up. Amen. Praise the Lord. Elasia. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We thank God for Jesus today. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. Amen. We certainly do. We certainly do honor God for his presence, his power, and his spirit. Amen. Being in the room today. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Certainly God is good. Amen. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Amen. Praise, amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Pray. We can't linger today. Amen. Praise the Lord. We got to move. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. First of all, we honor God today for his son, Jesus. That's it. Amen. Amen. The precious gift of the Holy Ghost. Thank God for being saved. Anybody in here beside me saved? Amen. Praise the Lord. Sanctified. Set apart. Filled with the whole by Shanda. Oh, with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. If you are if you are a guest or a visitor, would you please stand? Amen. Praise the Lord. Can you stand? Amen. Even if you're first time, second time. Amen. Praise the Lord. That sun shining, so I'm trying to. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank y'all so much. Amen. Praise the Lord. I know you. I know they usually put a mic in your mouth. Amen. But I just wanted to see y'all. Amen. Just to tell y'all, I appreciate y'all for stopping by here. Amen. I know we didn't ran and we didn't got crazy, but we got sense. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. And we love the fact that you came through. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. To visit with us today. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. We honor God today. Amen. For amen. To seeing all of you in the house today. Amen. Good to see your auntie. Amen. Praise the Lord in the house today. Amen. A praise the Lord. Amen. Tehran. Brother Tehran is off tour with him and his wife. Amen. Praise the Lord. Good to see them. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. That sun is, is shining. I'm trying to see. Amen. Praise the Lord. The realtor, where she at? Okay. Amen. Amen. Stand up, stand up again for us, woman of God. This is the lady that found us the building, y'all. Y'all ought to stand up and clap y'all hand. Amen. Praise the Lord. We thank you so much. Amen. She saved, y'all. Amen. She didn't just come, but she saved. Amen. Praise the Lord. 
Amen. And I know it don't look like what it looked like when we came in here. Amen. But we thank God for it. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want to. Amen. Praise the Lord. I won't be long. Amen. And I want us to get this out because I got something different. Amen. Dale, you hogging it there. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. They looking at you with envy. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. We are. Um, I, I want to publicly show my thanks and appreciation. Amen. For Evangelist Ganey. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Her sidekick, missionary charity. Amen. Praise the Lord. Can we cut our hands? Amen. Praise the Lord. And, and, and Sister Fran. Amen. Praise the Lord. They did all of that yesterday. I said, hey, y'all did that. And every cast member, thank y'all so much. Wonderful. Amen. Praise the Lord. We certainly enjoyed it. Okay, I feel like it's kicking in now. Amen. We certainly enjoyed it. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. The, the play on yesterday. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. As y'all sit down and calm down, breathe through your nose. Amen. And it'll cool down quicker. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. And we, we, we certainly do thank God for it. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. We thank God for our pastors. Pastor Brown, I love you so much. I didn't even recognize her yesterday. Amen. Praise the Lord. Pastor Brown looked like she was 27. Amen. Praise the Lord. I said, amen. Praise the Lord. Pastor Crompton, where is he at? Amen. Good to see you. Amen. Pastor Robinson. Amen. Praise the Lord. He came. Amen. Praise the Lord. They are a little tired. Amen. We've been going back and forth. Amen. From the old church to the new church to the new church to the old church to the old church to the new church. Amen. Praise the Lord. And can we, can y'all do me a favor? I want y'all to stand to your feet and I want y'all to clap your hands. Amen. For, amen. Elder Owens. Elder Vernon Owens. I appreciate you so much. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Elder Owens, amen, put some overtime in. Amen. Praise the Lord. He put the speakers up. He, he, he put electrical in. He mounted TVs. Amen. Praise the Lord. He broke down stages and sound booths. And, amen. Praise the Lord. And, amen. Did it all. Amen. With a smile on his face. Amen. Praise the Lord. Him and Pastor Robinson and Pastor Crumpton and all the men that helped. Brother Marcus in the back. Amen. Clap your hands for him. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. They did it. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. I went to the old location, Brother Marcus. It looked like fix my house in there. Amen. Flip my house. Amen. Amen. They had, amen. They had to it down. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And we thank God. Amen. We thank God for everybody. Amen. For everybody that played a part. Amen. That we still moving in. As y'all have heard, we will have a grand opening service on um, fourth Sunday. Amen. At 7 p.m. We will only have one service here. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. We enjoyed the praise team on today. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. I was trying to get here. Amen. Praise the Lord. I just saw Minister Bethany sliding across this way and then that way. Amen. Then that way again. I was like, all right. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. So we thank God. Oh, it started with Prophet Chris. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. I was like, it's easy. Amen. He was saying it. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I appreciate it. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's always good. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. When you ain't got the SDS to preach it, when you ain't got to get up and work hard. Amen. Praise the Lord. Because the people of God are in a posture where they know how to, amen, praise the Lord, to produce, amen, the authentic presence of God. Thank you so much, Elder Shanae. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Psalm 1. Psalm 1. Amen. Those that those that started on the couch, amen, y'all know we wore this out. Amen. Psalm 1. But I want to talk for a moment. Psalm number one, amen, praise the Lord. Dr. Hawkins, it's so good to see you. Amen, praise the Lord. Amen, praise the Lord. Psalm number one, amen, praise the Lord. And if you could do me a favor, we're going to read it in its entirety. You can keep your seat. Amen, praise the Lord. Y'all have been um, shouting, running, amen, skipping, amen, praise the Lord. Amen. Don't relax, though, amen, praise the Lord. Amen, because, amen, there's some things that... Uh, that, that God wants to speak to us today. Amen. Praise the Lord. And if y'all would give me, amen, a little time and a little grace. It's 11.50. Amen. We'll be out of here at 12.30. Amen. And that's preaching, communion, and everything. 
Amen. Praise the Lord. So we'll be out of here. 1230. Amen. Praise the Lord. So we can go down to San Diego and amen. Have church down there. And then those that will be going with us to Corona. Amen. Praise the Lord for this musical. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm just going to be the tambourine player there. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. I ain't got no voice. Y'all don't know me. Amen. I'm going to give it to main main. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now someone, it, it reads this. It reads this. It says, it says, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners. Thank you, Lord. Nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit when in his season. Oh, so amen. This ain't my message, but Pastor Brown, write this down. This tree got to mind its own business. Because what 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 happen is if you get to looking at another tree, you'll be wanting to bear fruit outside of your season. Mm -hmm. What what whatsoever it says his leaf, his leaf, his leaf, all the way down to the leaf shall not wither and whatsoever whatsoever he doeth whatsoever he is can i teach up here and preach down there whatsoever he doeth eth evangelist smith whatsoever he is consistent in shall prosper not so not whatsoever he starts it's whatsoever he gets consistent in Consistency don't start till it get hard and you want to quit. Amen. Amen. And whatsoever he do it shall prosper. Amen. The ungodly are not so. They are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. It don't say bloweth away. It said driveth away. That means there's an intentional push. Yes, sir. You're not coincidentally pushed out. Thank you, Lord. Pushed out of the church. It, it's an intentional push. When Sabosi, when, when Satan, Haleo, was in heaven, amen, as long as it was sin, God could deal with it. But when God looked in his heart and, and saw there was iniquity in his heart, God had to drive him out. That means it was a push with a purpose. Mm. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment. They might be standing now, but they shall not stand in the judgment. Your problem is you are, you are angry because they're standing now. And you want God to do something he ain't did with nobody yet, even the angels that fell. You want God to get them now. Tell your neighbor, calm down. Stay focused on you because take heed lest when you think you stand, you fall. Oh, God, I feel something coming. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I'm for, for the Lord know it. Who knows? Mm, the Lord knows the way of the righteous. He knows, Chris. He knows. God knows who's righteous and who ain't righteous. God knows who's falling and who's practicing. God, God, yes, Lord, God knows the difference between a behavior and a character. The Lord knows the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall do what? Perish. Perish. Shall perish. Per perish. That's, that's the end of it. Amen. Praise the Lord. I know y'all thought it was some more. He thought it wanted to be some more. But, but can you do me a favor? And now, now I'm going to teach. I'm going to give a little history. Amen. Praise the Lord. Because I always want y'all to have something to leave with. Can y'all can y'all help me preach this? Can you look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, don't get poisoned. Tell him, get planted and prosper. Don't get poisoned. Get planted and prosper, and prosper, and prosper, and prosper. As I hasten to my close, when, when we read Psalm 1, when we read Psalm 1, Psalm 1, Psalm 1 
it is, it is the, first, the first psalm in the book of Psalms, and, and it is the psalm of arrival, Pastor Brown. It's the psalm of arrival, and it is the psalm. Uh, every psalm in song is not scripture. It is actually a, a, a hymn. It's a song. It's a song. And, and this song was written. Can I just get a little a tinge? This, this psalm was written when the people of God got to the house of the Lord. Before they walked into the house of the Lord, they ran into into something called a doorkeeper and when they ran into the doorkeeper the doorkeeper would be singing this psalm to the people of God before they walked into the house of God before they got to the house of God they had to travel to the house of God and one thing that I like about this Bible Elder Humphreys helped me today is that is that they had to sing all the way to church and then they got in church and still had to keep singing when they got to church our problem is we wait till we walk through the door to try to crank that soldier boy and sometimes when you don't start it all week something wrong with your starter when you get here on Sunday yeah 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 so you wait on somebody to kick start you or you wait till 945 intercessory prayer and if intercessory prayer don't work then you try to say the praise team gonna kick start me but tell your neighbor start your own self so so before they got before they got to the door I'm almost done before they got to the door they had psalms of ascent yeah 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 how you shut up uh uh whenever they would begin to shabbat whenever they would begin to go seek the lord whenever whenever Moses would begin to leave them to seek the lord before they before they took off they would sing the first song the first song that they would sing before they took up was let god arise and let his enemies be scattered and then because what they were doing is they were telling God to go before them uh, because it was dangerous to head to the house of the Lord because in between your house and his house uh, were a bunch of enemies that didn't want you to get to his house uh, and, and I know you can't see the enemy now but there still is an enemy uh, that don't want you to get to the house it's called discouragement it's called depression it's called distraction it's called worry it's called anxiety it's called bills it's called marriage it's called the cares of the world. It's called the lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh. It's called the pride of life. All of these things stand in the way of us getting into the house of the Lord. So before you get in your car, before you eat your breakfast sandwich, when you get up on Sunday, you need to get up and say, arise, oh God, and let your enemies be scattered. Asha. Then they would take off past Brown and they would be they would be singing psalms all the way, all the way to church because hey, uh, I can't wait to get to church to try to have church. Hey, uh, and, and I'm a host, and I'm gonna talk about something in a minute, and everybody gonna get quiet on me. Uh, but, 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 uh, so they would begin to sing psalms, Pastor Robinson, and then when they got to the bottom of the hill, because this is another thing uh, that I liked about God uh, in the old testament. Hey, uh, that the church was always on a hill. He shut up. It was called Mount Zion. He cut up So when they got to the base of the hill, because they were getting ready to climb, they were getting closer to God. Because now they were on holy ground. They had to change their song. And then and then when they got to the base of the mountain, as they begin to ascend up Mount Zion, the first thing they would sing is, Behold how good and how pleasant. Uh, it is for brethren to dwell together. Uh, and you know, it is like the uh, Shabu. Uh, it is like the dew on Mount Hermon. Uh, it is like the oil that fun down Aaron's beard. Uh, even to the skirt. Y'all going to have to read y'all Bible this year. Uh, the boat. There the Lord commanded the blessing. Uh, even life forevermore. And then uh, the next song that they would sing as they got halfway up the mountain, Dr. Hawkins, uh, they would begin to sing, Who shall ascend uh, unto the hill of the Lord? And who shall uh, dwell in this? holy place. He that had clean hands uh, and a pure heart who has not lifted up his soul uh, unto vanity nor sworn deceitfully. Uh, he shall receive a blessing from the Lord uh, and righteousness from the God of his salvation. Uh, and then they were making an announcement because they were getting close to the house. Uh, because the porter that had the door would ask them uh, who is this that's coming? Uh, the porter would say who is the king of glory? Uh, and they would respond the Lord of hosts. Uh, he is 
is the king of glory. Uh, lift up your head, O oh ye gates, uh, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, uh, and the king of glory shall come in. Who is uh, the king of glory? The Lord of hosts. Uh, he is the king of glory. Now, now, when they get to the top of the hill now, uh, I'm where I need to be. Uh, when they get to the top of the hill, uh, they did not take for granted uh, that some people had wavered um, oh, uh, from their house to his house. Uh, I am the most, uh, yeah. Yes, yeah, so watch this. Uh, in order, yes, Lord. And I hope uh, at the end of this message in the next 12 minutes uh, that, uh, uh, that we can authorize some doorkeepers in the house. Because what the doorkeepers did is, uh, Pastor Brown, the doorkeeper, uh, another word for doorkeeper, uh, Dr. Hawkins, and I know you're familiar with this, uh, it's an intercessor. Uh, intercession starts at the door. Uh, hiya, nah, nah, nah. See, our intercession does not work uh, because we let stuff get in the house uh, and then we want to try to fight it in the house. Uh, yeah. You let it get too far if you let it get in the house. Uh, but these doorkeepers would tell them, uh, on their way in the house uh, when they got to the door uh, they would look at them and say let me help you understand something uh, everything does not go in this house oh, my. Uh, I need you to look at the neighbor and say neighbor uh, everything does not go in this house uh, it says everything don't get blessed in this house uh, you know what he says watch that now you know what he says uh, he says uh, the doorkeeper said blessed is the man oh uh, oh you know what he says he said y'all can keep coming back and forth all you want to but the end of your life will not be blessed number one oh Shabbat if you walk in the counsel of the ungodly watch that door back there if you walk in the counsel of the ungodly number two oh Shabbat if you stay I got everything in here if you stand in the way of sinners and number three if you sit in the seat of the scornful now you know what I want to talk to y'all about Y'all pray for me for a few minutes. Huh? You know what I want to talk to y'all about? Huh? Y'all trying to mess God's church up. Huh? That's what the Holy Ghost told me huh? when I got up this morning. Huh? You know what he reminded me of, Dr. Hawkins? How you doing, Sabah? These new rookies huh? are getting up now and they're saying, huh? everybody always talking about the old days. Huh? We got to get past the old days. Huh? And the Holy Ghost spoke to me in my spirit. Huh? He said, I didn't ever tell y'all huh, to get past the old days. Huh? because the old days is my standard I'm the same yesterday today and forevermore the house may change oh God but the standard don't change and they're going to get quiet today but I'm going to preach to God get the glory I need you to look at a neighbor and some of y'all a demon might come out your throat when you say it tell your neighbor holiness is still right I don't care what nobody say you still got to live holy you still got to live righteous now notice something about this psalm as I hasten to my close if you look at this psalm this psalm was not directed to sinners it was talking about church people and you know what he was saying he said saints of God before you cross that threshold you better make sure that you have not been walking in the assembly of the ungodly Huh? Got you huh? because half of y'all in here huh? can't give God authentic glory huh? because of who you listening to. Huh? You are associated huh? according to the Bible. Huh? You are associated by huh? who you assemble with. Hold my shot. Tell your neighbor, I don't care if you ain't doing it. If you comfortable hanging around them, it's in you. You just ain't did it yet. Who walk not in the counsel of the ungodly. I'm finna get out of here. Wake up, man, man. That means that I don't let people who don't got no love for God tell me anything or give me any advice. But tell me why. Hold my shot. I was looking at some stuff uh, and I know CBI, uh, and they uh, and one of the reasons uh, I'm finna hurt y'all feelings right here uh, you Californians uh, one of the reasons uh, I don't like the Los Angeles Lakers uh, is because I don't like their foundation uh, because they say the Staples Center uh, is the place of gods uh, they call Kobe a god uh, they call LeBron a god uh, he under uh, and most of look at y'all quiet now uh, 
but most of us in here now he on the bohosha we aspire to be like them oh this month is about worship i want to know this first half of the month what are you worshiping so now hasha so now your bible says your bible says that they walk they start walking he on the bohosha that word walk in the hebrew means to live they live after the counsel of the ungodly he on the mashanda that means that they move like the world pastor brown that means that they talk like the world but they still ascend into the place of god but they answer the but their character and behavior is contrary to god i'm out of here y'all let's go home so your bible would tell you the doorkeeper says y'all got to make sure before y'all come into this house that y'all have not been walking in the council of the ungodly i need you to look at your neighbor because i'm about to preach you now and say neighbor where you been all week friday night was prayer but half the church was not here where you be? We've been walking after the council. Y'all got to come hard or go home. I shot up the ungodly. And he says, if you start living like them, you will stop and pay attention. And then, oh, he said, you will stand in the way of sinners. That means if I listen to the ungodly long enough, they are start uh, taking me through the process uh, of walking uh, away from God uh, then I become uh, I become a sinner uh, wish I had help here uh, a sinner uh, he, uh, don't stand uh, in the pathway uh, with sinners uh, meaning uh, don't participate uh, in the lifestyle uh, of sinners uh, but when you walk uh, after the counsel uh, of the ungodly uh, you start having Compassion on what God is a gift. And you start saying, He on the Bohosha. I don't see nothing wrong with smoking a little weed. Ask me why. Because you're walking in the council of the ungodly. And now I know it. Now y'all, some of y'all in here drinking beer. Ask me why. Cause you walk uh, in the council uh, of the ungodly uh, And now you're standing uh, in the way uh, of sinners uh, And then you know what happens uh, When the saints of God uh, get to holding you uh, To the standard uh, of a righteousness uh, They get offended uh, by the truth uh, And then they sit uh, in the seat uh, of the scornful And rain a word uh, I like how uh, y'all sitting there looking at me uh, because half of y'all uh, are sitting uh, in the seat uh, of the scornful. Uh, I ain't never uh, heard so many people uh, that ain't been saved uh, for three minutes uh, trying to talk about uh, what they don't like, uh, about what they have yet uh, to invest in. Uh, you ain't been uh, in the church uh, long enough uh, to come in uh, on the work. Of the Lord, yes, sir. You ain't been in the house long enough to come in on the things of God. He under the hope. Tell your neighbor before you open up your mouth to talk about the things of God. And that of fact, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I'm looking at your spirit and you're about to have that seat. But before you sit in the seat of the scornful, look back over your life and are you angry because you have been held uh, to a standard. Uh, have you ever really uh, been offended? Uh, I got to get out of here because uh, I don't like uh, how y'all looking at me. Uh, because now uh, we're so easily uh, offended uh, by everything uh, that goes on. Uh, ask me why. Because when you walk uh, in the council uh, of the ungodly, uh, you're looking uh, for a way uh, to get out of God. Uh, he almost shot uh, when you walk uh, in the council uh, of the ungodly. Uh, any 
Listen, listen, let me leave you soberly. All your offenses is because you don't delight in God. This is an accessory now. Because if you really delighted in God, You've been, you wouldn't be walking around here talking about who you think with the apostle, who you think Shanae with, who, what Elder Newman doing, what Elder Brown doing, because your face ain't in the, get off me devil, I want every last one of these devils today. When your delight is in the law of the Lord, it says you meditate. I'm so busy chewing on God. I ain't got time to look at you. No, church. No. Because y'all going to clap and shout and then be after lingering after church trying to see who stand. Don't play with me. That delight. Get offended too quick. Because you got to make a transition. Because you don't delight in the law. Blessed are they that love thy law. Nothing shall by any means offend them. Nothing, nothing. You can break my heart, but not offend me. Ah, Shabbat, I wish I had time to teach it. His delight is in the law of the Lord. And when you start delighting in the law of the Lord, you know what God does? You know what he does? God 
puts you where you can grow. I know it, I know it, I know it. Y'all so carnal. I know it, I know it. He plants you by the streams of living water. He, he roots you. Peace here. He roots you. He roots you. He roots you. He, he don't have you leaving every week. He don't have you questioning. He roots you. By rivers. Living water. It's kind of a, it's kind of a wrong analogy, Dr. Hawkins. But catch this analogy. I got a tree outside my house. It's rooted. It ain't going nowhere. But the first place my dog go is to that tree. And even though my dog does his business on that tree, that tree do not get up and say, see, because what's feeding the tree is greater than what's happening to the tree. Oh, y'all got to get out of here. Mm. Vernon, we getting poisoned. We getting poisoned, but it's working backwards now. It's working backwards now. Half of us in here are sitting in the seat of the scornful. We're bitter. We're bitter. We're bitter because of our behavior. If I come in and my mind raggedy, how y'all know who's I? If I come in and I don't have no discernment, and I hook up with the wrong people. Uh, yeah, nah, nah. That ain't God's fault. I don't have a right. Yes, Lord. That'll preach. I don't got a right to take a seat. But, but what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Can y'all see this? Because the seat of the scornful is a posture. They said, I don't care how much you preaching. I know preachers. That's what the seat of the scornful say. Because it has stood in the path of sinners so long. Because yes, you know what sinners do? You know what sinners sit up and do? Sinners talk about strivers. Yes, sir. Sinners and strivers both sin. One is a mistake. One is habitual. So, so, Pastor Brown, because the striver falls and gets back up, the sinner is sitting where the striver fell. That's the only reason you know they fail. And we use somebody's fall to justify us not getting up. Oh, yeah, I want to talk to y'all because y'all think y'all got these excuses. I've been hurting the church. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Because when we all leave out of here, this is a building. You ain't been, you ain't been hurting the church. And what happens is, because we don't delight ourselves in the law of God, I'm delighting in knowing Dale's business. That's what I delight in. Oh, that's why I wore this today. I'm going back to this. I'm going back to the heart of worship. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Because the Holy Spirit said they're trying to change the church. They're trying to change the church. And everybody's getting progressive now. And it's so subtle. Y'all think ain't nothing wrong with it. Now y'all done left the suits. Now y'all in your jeans. Your skinny jeans preaching to people with your Jordans. Because it's all about you. We got to be progressive, Apostle. You know the world is changing. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus still was him. We got to win the world. Yeah, no. Nah. Winning and lost at any cost. Oh, not at the cost of my integrity. 
Oh, I feel good today. Peace here. I feel good today. I feel good today. Not at the cost of my integrity. Now y'all got earrings in your ear. Are we going to talk about it? Consistently getting tattoos. After you've been redeemed. Oh, we going to talk about it. Because that's what's wrong with the church. Then got too loose. Whatever you did BC before Christ, you can't do nothing about that. But after deliverance, that's, that's the, the, the desire to want that should be gone. But see, if there's still a desire, if there's still a desire, if there's still a desire to do those things, then you're not delivered. It should be a desire. Because now we want to be relevant. We want to be relevant. We want to be relevant. We want to be, you'll never see no smoke in here unless it's the Shekinah glory. I ain't got nothing. Oh, no, no, no. I ain't, I ain't got nothing against it, but I, it, uh, 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 you, you let stuff creep in. Because when I was growing up, Tehran, the smoke that I saw, Easy Evening was coming out to it. The Thuggish Ruggish Bone was coming out to it. Eight Ball MJG then was coming out through the smoke. So now we done brought the smoke to the church because we, had, we can't produce a real glory. We don't have a Shobah CI. We don't have a we don't have a prayer life. That that's a day I buy. I know Hosa buy. About 45 more seconds and I'm about to lay hands. But that's a Boho Come on. Come on, sir. That not my CI. That is that is because that is because that is because because see here here is the balance. Here's the balance. Here's the balance. You you, you even with all of that hollering. I wouldn't have had to preach this message even if you hollerers was delighting yourself in the law of the Lord. Come on, sir. Cause we'd be like, get him. Yeah. No. No. Because if the majority of the church was carrying that standard when we was delighting ourselves in the law of the Lord, I wouldn't be having to get up publicly and check it. In his law, does he meditate day and night? I ain't got now. I'm wrestling with the Holy Spirit right now. For ministry purposes, I'm wrestling hard. And I ain't going to let go till he change his mind. I don't want no Facebook. But the Holy Spirit is like, ministry. I'm like, no, sir, I don't want that. <laughs> but you don't delight yourself in the law of the Lord. How you up at 2, 3 in the morning on Facebook? You see that? I can't sleep at night. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Why you ain't meditating then? You see that? No, we need to be checked. We, we need to be regrounded. Because, because you have no desire for anything spiritual because you're not in his word. That's why y'all want that prayer Friday. Because your attitude was greater than your altitude. Where God wants to take us, Dr. Hawkins, has got to be greater than how we feel. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When you meditate in his word both day and night, who did the checking? The doorkeeper did. Yes, sir. And even if the doorkeeper saw it on him, he didn't point them out. Come on. He said, he said, when you're not blessed. If you go in here and you come out and you're still the same, it's because you was walking in the council of the ungodly, standing in the way. He, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't, <sighs> you off. Yes, sir. You out of order. Yes, sir. You out of order. Yes, sir. You see that? You see that? Yeah. I had a dream. Okay, Martin Luther King been gone. Yes, sir. And Lord, the Lord is not giving me no dream about Vernon. Oh, Vernon, I had a dream that you was running your business wrong. Why would God jump all over me? And I ain't in my Bible. I'm hanging with gossipers. 
But I'm dreaming about you. Please go. The root of most of these dreams is the conversations that we have before we go to sleep. Yes, sir. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. This ain't no bad word. This is a reset. I told y'all. I told y'all. I told y'all. The Holy Spirit said reset. But y'all think reset. But y'all oh, ain't nothing going to happen. We just thought. No, 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 no. You get repostured. That's, it's chiropractic. Put your focus back. Put your focus back. Can I talk to you? Yes, sir. You know how you wanted to quit ministry? You wanted to lighten in his word. You wanted to lighten in his word. You had an attitude because you wanted to lighten in his word. Question leadership because you ain't delighting in his word. Because when you delight in his word, he'll plant you and you'll be so busy growing. You'll be like, oh man. And then here come Edward, man. Did you see that? No, sir. I just I see my arm getting longer. It's getting easier to get in the presence of God. That's what I see. You didn't feel that? No, sir. I didn't. I'm growing. I'm growing. And you know why you ain't growing here? Oh no, 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 no. It's it's water here. And, and it's grass here. But you got the delight yourself. You know why you ain't growing here? You have not allowed God to uproot you yes, sir. from the greater Imani Episcopal yes, Mount St. Clair Missionary Baptist Church that you just came from and plant you at Rhema. Yeah. You're here but you're not planted. Yeah. That's why you can change your mind so quickly. Yeah. Pastor Brown, your house ain't going nowhere. A storm can happen. It can blow. Watch this. A tornado can happen, and it can tear the framework of your house up, but it still ain't going nowhere because it's grounded. It's grounded. It's grounded. It's grounded. You see that? I ain't saying ain't nothing going to happen to you, but when you're grounded, your foundation is standing sure. The Lord knows those that are his. And let everyone that names the name of the Lord depart from iniquity. If my window get broken, I'm not leaving here. I'm going to get my window fixed and keep growing. Why? 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 You, you know what? You know what? Let me answer y'all prayer. Let me answer half of y'all prayer. Lord, when... Is it going to be my season? Here's the Lord's reply. When you get planted. Yes, sir. When you get planted. And when you get planted. And you grow. Watch this. You will bear fruit. That's how you'll know it's your season. Because you'll bear fruit. How I know it's my season? Fruit. Fruit. And the first fruit is people will start following me here. Fruit. Fruit. It's the Father's desire that you bear much fruit. What does that mean? In the context, not fruit of the Spirit. That your life is so productive. He level whole side by. That people, watch this, they hang out with you. Say so you're gonna be so fruitful. You're gonna be so hydrated with the word that your leaf won't even wither. When you get in his word, when you get in his word, you're gonna be so hydrated. The washing of the water of the word. The, the word is going to be in you so much that watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. The leaf, the leaf comes, then the fruit comes. The leaf serves no purpose, but it does. Because you know, you know one of the purposes of the leaf is? It's the covering for the fruit. 
to make sure that it doesn't get bruised. So it says when you're in God and when you meditate in this word, you, you're going to produce fruit and your leaf ain't going to wither. Your leaf is going to be able to present or prevent what you, what you have produced through your fruitfulness from being spoiled by the sun. The sun. The sun. Then it says this, the ungodly, they're not so, but they're like the chaff that the Lord drives out. The Lord drives out. The Lord, you know who the Lord drives out? People that refuse to get out of that seat. I'm talking to some of y'all in here now. You refuse to get, I'm tired of y'all excuses. I ain't the only one. Pastor Brown's tired of them. The Lord is tired of them. Your justification from sitting in the seat. How many of y'all got a job? How many of y'all had a bad day on the job where your supervisor went off, went off on you? How many of y'all quit that job because of that? Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Huh. Come on, sir. I'm talking about the job you currently on. Huh. Come on, Imagine that. Hey. Wow. Come on, sir. A bad day. A bad day. But still show back up Come faithfully. Because we care more about our carnality than our spirituality. You don't care about your soul. The devil ain't got to fight you when you don't care about your soul. But it's like the chaff that the wind, the move of God drives it out. Oh, Rama, I told y'all when we came over here, and I'm seeing it, there was going to be a manifestation. And it's happening. You know why? You know why? Because you don't want to get up. You got an excuse for not getting up. Well, you don't know. I ain't got to know. But what I do know is there ain't no excuse under the sun that validates bitterness. None. Well, you don't know what they did to me. Well, you don't know what happened to me. And I don't want you to know what happened to me, but I want you to know what he said to me. Yes, so honor. Yes, and you're only able to so honor when you have been meditating on his word yes, and you understand that he's your reward. The ungodly, the ungodly are not going to stand in the congregation of the righteous. Rhema, God is making us righteous. And if you refuse to get up out that seat, I see how y'all looking at me just blinking. The wind, the move of God is going to drive you out. And when they go to try to call you, I'm going to be like, uh, uh, uh. Uh -uh. We don't call people who sit in the seat because that empowers them. If you was a sheep that just got lost, I'll go get you. But if you a son, I ain't calling you. Y'all don't like that, do it. Walk away. Don't come back for two, three Sundays. I'm going to be like, Lord, he like, don't worry about it. I'm going to start on them in about two weeks. They're going to lose their job. They're going to get a flat tire. They're going to all that. They're gonna get, their car going to get repossessed. Yes, then they'll be back. Yes, sir. But they'll be coming on the bus. You'll see them get off the bus because I'm going to take everything. Come on, sir. 
Pastor Brown, here, here is a dangerous thing. Here's a dangerous thing in this transition and this reset. God has, God has spoke to me real, real loud and clear. Real, real loud and clear this morning. And he said, tell the church, don't get poisoned. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Don't, don't let nobody poison you. Yes, sir. Always remember, and I'm talking to you, but I'm talking to everybody. Always remember when God told you to come here yes, and what God said. Because yes, what people are going to do, what they're going to do, what they're going to do, is they're going to try to put their experience on you. Yes, sir. But you better remember what God said. And if, if they don't try to if they don't try to poison you, then what's gonna happen is situation gonna happen to make you think you're in the wrong place. Because God is teaching you him right. And he's teaching you that you can't know him by the amount of money in your pocket. You gotta know him by the amount of power that you feel when you lift your hands. Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. We finna go, but come here, let me pray for you. Yes, sir. Because there is, yes, because there is an anointing there, but I see something. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I hey, hey, hey. I come against every child, every spirit. Uh-uh, Shabbat. Mandobo That want to steal the gift. Uh-uh. Uh, 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 that want to steal the gift of that old seed. That wants to steal the gift of God. Out of it. Uh, I pray. Hoba Shanda. I pray. Mando soul. Baba. Go in the belly. Come out. 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 Come out, come out. Come out, come out, come out, come out, Shota. Come out of there, Shonda. Go in the belly, go in the animal soul. Eat up our shy. We protect the gift of God that's in you. Everything that want to steal your mind, take your sanity. Yata ba siko bo soko la ba yande ba bi asaka to bo hosa ho bi anso ho yana na bandi o shata I speak peace to you mo raba katele bi ansi o sha kila ba bo shanda ho ba 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 sha kila ba 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 shata aya. I see the gift of Baba Ba. I see the gift of God. I see the gift of God. I see the gift of God. And I protect your heart. Habo Shama. From getting angry and getting offended. Don't let him poison you. Come on. Be planted and grow. For this purpose did I bring you back to raise you up. To replace even these. Glory to Jesus. Glory to the <laughs> yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Valencia, plant your feet in the house. Don't waver. Go ba 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 mandia sha. Uh-huh. Because you know me. 
There is a Moshe. There is a gift there. There is. But the enemy will never hold on to anything that God has not spoken about. And God wants to use her. And when we meditate again in his word, we'll be able to understand, not just read, Vernon, but understand that though we walk in the flesh, we don't war after it. We bless him. We glorify him. We honor his name. Shatia. He's a righteous savior. Bababasha. And see, there are Demoya. Lela la mana la mandiasha. Shama yanianza. I don't know what the day is, Valencia, but 42 days from today, 42 from today, a complete momona na na na, a complete yeo shama, a complete turnaround, a complete turnaround. But Prophet Chris, there are some of us in here. I ain't got time, but there are some of us in here who got a lunatic spirit that's dwelling in us. Because we've chosen to sit. But we would resist that prayer. We would find they also, we would find an excuse to stay seated. But then an unknown siyama. But they were in an amon so shaba. Shut up, Idiot and Amanda. It is. You, you know why half of y'all couldn't lay hands? Because I told y'all before, it is love. I don't care how much power you think you got. You can't even keep your own mind. It's love. Mohosha. Mm. I got the lady in me. Lift your hands all over the house. Lift your hands. Open your mouth. Worship him. Worship. 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 Worship, 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 worship. 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 That's it, woman of God. Worship, worship, worship. Oh, worship. Yes, yes, Lord. God, I wish I had time. <laughs> yes, Lord. Ah. I love you. Yep. I love you. Shut up. And God is going to do it. He's 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 going to do it. He got about He gon' do it. He got the whole yeah, nah, nah. Oh, I feel power. I feel power in here. <laughs> Y'all thought this was the wrong place, but this is the place. This is the place. This is the place. Let's go. Devon, Elder Walker, Pastor Robinson, can y'all just just peel it back? Don't worry about the don't worry about the formalities. Yeah, the only ones, can you help them? No, don't move it. 
Just peel it back. We love God. We reverence him. Just peel it back. Can y'all grab praise? Can you grab one of our ones? Can y'all grab a tray of peace and go to a section and then just hand the communion out? Yes, sir. Go, go that way. Go to the middle. Elder Owens, can you, yeah, can you just pass the communion out? Hashanama, he's going to do it. Hemaya. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. Do it. We're going home. Well, we're going to San Diego. I feel power, Chris. He's going to do it. Oh, tell him, my, 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 my. Oh, he's coming. Oh, he's gonna do it. Oh, my shata. He's gonna do it. Lord is gonna do it. Has everyone been served? Yes, Lord. Has everyone been served? Did you get one? Has everyone been served? Let's stand. He's going to do it. Mando Sabai. He's going to do it. Did y'all get served? Yes, sir. Oh, he's going to do it. He's going to do it. Sharamande Sebi. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We are going to Namo Baya na 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 na. He's a deliverer, oh, ba, 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 ma. a strong deliverer. Ah, yeah, nah, nah. There is nothing he can do. Ta, 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 na, 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 na. <laughs> oh, yes, Lord. There is nothing he can do. There is nothing he can do. Shanda. There is nothing he can do. Yep. It's gonna lose it. It's gonna lose it. Yep. Come on. Come on. There is nothing you can do. Y'all continue to pray there. Saints of God, our Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, he took bread as I do now ministering in his name. After he had given thanks, he said, this is my body, which is my shot which is give them a whole CI, which is given for you. Eat ye all of it. Ah! The body of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yep, come on out. 
everything come out today. Bibi Beban si sukus After the same manner he took the cup as I do now ministering in his name. He said, this is the new covenant in my blood which is shed for many for the remission of sins. Drink ye all of it. I know. Oh, my shy. <laughs> oh, the blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. After they had ate the cup, ate the bread and drank the cup, he said, I will not drink this cup till I drink it do with you in my father's house. And afterwards, they sung a hymn and they were dismissed. Father, we thank you for this worship service. Thank you for the power of God being in this building. Be glorified the rest of this day. Glorify your son. Wage war against everything that comes against your agenda. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done today. Go before us today, make the way clear. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered today. We bless your holy and righteous name. Jesus' name. Amen. You are dismissed. There should be receptacles at the back door. the Lord. Amen. Looking forward to seeing y'all in San Diego. Amen. God bless y'all. Amen. Praise the Lord. <laughs>